It was not your average highway accident in Washington state. A truck flipped over on an interstate, spilling hundreds of hives, carrying nearly 20 million honeybees. Ben Tracy now on what happened next. The beekeepers are on scene now. At 3.30 this morning, Interstate 5 near Seattle looked like a scene out of a science fiction movie. Beekeepers tried to wrangle millions of bees with their bare hands. They calmed them with smoke, but when the bees started to escape, most had to be killed with spray foam. I think we're going to make this quick. A Washington State trooper tried to brief reporters. Yes, I hear you. Including Jeff Dubois from our CBS affiliate in Seattle. He did not appear to be enjoying this assignment. Aye, aye, aye. They're, they're flying all over the place. Um, it's unnerving, to tell you the, the, the truth. It was far worse for his cameraman, Damian Glitch, who was stung 20 times. I feel lightheaded and I'm numb. I had stings in, to my face, to my arms. Uh, they crawled up my jacket and my lower back, my stomach. As many as 20 million bees were lost, and they won't survive without their hives. They were en route to a farm to pollinate blueberry crops. There's no other insect on earth that can do what they do. Christian England was one of the bee wranglers. So it's a setback for the farmers too because they've got to get these bees you know, on, their, on their crops because they have a certain window of time that you know, pollination happens. Bee pollination is responsible for one third of all the food we eat. There were five million active beehives in the U.S. in the 1940s. Now there are half that due in large part to what's known as colony collapse disorder. So this accident is a big loss. The driver of the semi was not injured, but like everyone involved, he likely felt the sting. Ah. Ben Tracy, CBS News, Los Angeles.